What's up, YouTube? Raw Sports TV, back at it again. You know, man, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Now we got that boy Earl, the true Spence Jr., the unified WBA, WBC, and IBF, welterweight champion of the world. And we got that boy Tans Bud Crawford, the WBO, welterweight champion of the world. Man, let me tell y'all what they ain't telling y'all. So after Terrence Crawford fought Sean Porter, he was already in the works on getting a contract made to fight David Avenese in early 2022. Before contracts negotiations started up in June with Errol Spence people after Errol Spence fought Eudenis Ugas. So now we jump back to Spence and Ugas unification title bout. Spence breaks Eudenis Ugas, Eudenis Ugas down, breaks him down. I mean, breaks his rib, nose, and orbital bone. And now we get to this point where we're negotiating a contract between Terrence Bud Crawford and Earl the True Spence. Now, if you paid attention, Earl the True Spence tweeted out, that boy been stalling for months. I could have fought in November. Now, here's where it gets tricky. You got people saying that Terrence Bud Crawford ain't ducking Earl Spence. He said he's trying to stay busy, stay active. He hasn't fought since 2020. He has no promoter. He's a free agent. He's trying to do all this negotiating himself through his team. And he wasn't in no other contract talks with anybody. So they say. Now, shout out to Blue Blast Sports and Black Prime. I mean, them brothers just trying to make a way into the boxing scene. But the way they made it into the boxing scene gave Terrence Crawford an out. Nobody had an out for Terrence Crawford. No tune-up fight, no nothing. Nothing was going to get done. This fight was going to happen next if Terrence Crawford didn't have a way out. And he stalled and stalled until he got back on the lines with David Avenesia and Peoples and asked if they were still interested and about. You see what I'm saying? He been in contract talks. They just paused contract talks because they started talking to Spence people in June. So between the fight with Terrence Bud Crawford and Sean Porter till June, Terrence Crawford was in negotiation. Well, before June, because Terrence Crawford was in negotiations on fighting David Avenesia early this year. Now, this is the point where I'm trying to tell you that if it wasn't for Blue Blood and Black Prime, them be having this opportunity for Terrence Bud Crawford there was never gonna be no getting out of this fight for Terrence Bud Crawford he was gonna eventually have to sign the deal that he supposedly agreed to that he didn't sign so I'm not necessarily blaming Black Prime or Blue Blood Sports, not one bit. But I'm trying to give people an insight on how that became a focal point into Terrence Crawford having a way out of the the Errol Spence Jr. fight. And yeah, maybe Terrence Crawford still want the Errol Spence Jr. fight, but he just didn't want it now.
he still don't think he's ready. If you need a tune-up fight, you don't think you're ready. I don't care what the fighter tells you. They might be ready for that fighter that they going in for that tune-up fight, but they damn sure don't think their skills is good enough to fight the fighter that they, they need to fight. So Terrence Bud Crawford know he ducked Earl Spence. Hence to a reason why Bob Arum didn't want to get the deal done four years ago when he couldn't even answer the, the question, are we going to get this fight made? I mean, you had Ellie set back, Earl Spence Jr., everybody trying to ask Bob Arum when we going to get the fight, when we going to get the fight. Bob Arum knew Earl Spence would smoke Terrence Crawford. Smoke him. He didn't even want to entertain it. Bob Arum tried to act like they were one big family. I do not like the way Terrence Crawford played his move right here. We as boxing fans, and we're fans, we're not the ones in the rings fighting respect to the boxers. But we want to see the best fight the best. And we hope that the boxers who fighting want to fight the best. And you can't tell me that the PBC don't got the money to make it right. You can't tell me this. Even how things are looking. PBC fighters talking about the, their pay and other other promoters' phones ringing. But still, it's, it, this is the this is Al Heyman, legendary promoter Al Heyman. You think the PBC ain't got the money to host the Spence and Terrence Crawford fight? Terrence Crawford got this deal done. Didn't get this deal done because he didn't have a promoter. To clear up, hence why. In this leaked conversation of Earl Spence Jr., he said that Terrence Bud Crawford, he said that Terrence Bud Crawford was asking questions that he wasn't asking Bob Arum. And understandably, because Terrence Crawford is his own promoter now. So I can understand that reason. But that also gave him the flexibility to stop conversations, start conversations, go about it how he wanted to play it. He was the ultimate driving factor. He was the key. It all predicated on whether Terrence Crawford would sign the contract. Terrence Craw I mean, Errol Spence Jr., he didn't have a move in play. He wasn't looking to fight any one of his mandatories, let alone happen to be mandated by an organization to fight a mandatory. Errol Spence always took out the supposedly head honcho. Hence the reason why his man down scrap season. And he told everybody what he was going to do four years ago, did everything that he said he was going to do, take all them scraps and come for Terrence Bud Crawford's scrap. And Terrence Bud Crawford feel that heat. He feeling the heat. It's, it's, it's as close as it has ever been. This, is, ain't no, this ain't no talking right here. You can't talk your way out of this. If Terrence Bud Crawford had a promoter, He would have been forced to take that fight. Because if he had showed his team how scary he was and didn't want to sign the contract, hence why you got a second date inside that new contract they sent. Because you took too long with the first one. We done got closer to that date. People on their channel trying to justify how long it took 
well, you can't keep taking this long with contracts and contracts and they get closer and closer to the fight date that, that, that y'all supposedly agreed on and expect that fight date to say, stay the same without the contract being agreed on yet. And it may be a month away from that date y'all talked about. Come on now, make it make sense. Don't just take up for the fighter because you like the fighter. Make it make sense. There is nobody, and I mean, I repeat, I don't care how close you are to the situation. I don't care if you're the one that gave Terrence Bud Crawford the money. There's no one that I repeat can justify Terrence Crawford not fighting Earl Spence. And to be all willy-nilly like, oh yeah, it's just going to happen after this. He just wanted to stay busy. Oh, that's wishful thinking on your part. Nothing set in stone in the sport of boxing. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hate, you know, share these videos, man. Get at your boy. Get at in the comment sections. Let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. You think Terrence Bud Crawford ducked that boy? Or you think Errol Spence Jr. played around and PV out him and then played around with the money too long and Terrence Crawford got ghosts? Let me know what y'all think, man. Get at your boy, Raw Sports TV. We out.